Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mikos with my partner in crime Luna and we're here to tell you what's up with the stars for August. Now Luna and I put out horoscopes every month because our couples counselor said we need to spend more time together. So subscribe and you won't miss out on the latest cosmic news. Well, friend, this month we're entering retrograde season in full force. Retrograde means that a planet is moving backwards in the sky from our perspective on Earth. Uranus, the cosmic whack job, goes retrograde on the 20th, joining Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto. When all of the outer planets go retro, it's kind of like the world is suffering from some cosmic constipation because there's a blockage going on in all of our collective systems. This is not a great time for starting any major new project either. Both Saturn and Jupiter are also going to be closest to our planet this month and they're going to be all year. The closer a planet is to Earth, then the brighter it appears in the sky and therefore the stronger its influence is going to be on us all. Saturn will be closest to Earth and therefore bright in the sky on the second. So early in the month, we're going to be feeling collectively exhausted. Saturn is the planet of limitation, so he's going to be limiting our life force. We might feel tired, old, and drained. But don't get too discouraged because it's only a temporary cycle. The good news is that Jupiter will be super visible and close to the Earth on the 19th, and it's going to supercharge the full moon this month. By the end of the month, we're all going to be feeling a lot more optimistic and lively. Okay, so let's talk about the lunations this month. There's a new moon on the 8th and 16 degrees Leo, and it's right in the crosshairs of this year. Saturn Uranus square. So that means we might be feeling an urge to gain recognition, assert ourselves and our authority, and then some person or circumstance knocks us off our pedestal. But wait, Luna and I are stoked about the upcoming full moon on the 22nd because it looks a lot luckier. The full moon is going to be in 29 degrees Aquarius and it's going to be conjoined Jupiter, which is the planet of fun. So this is a super zooted moon that's going to be a lot more upbeat and buoyant than the last one. You might be lit with inspiration or lit from all the partying later this month. Jupiter does like to overdo things, so remember to drink plenty of water. Hey Capricorn! So Mars, the planet of pissy, goes into your ninth house of opinions, promotion, and education on the 7th. So expect some frustrations in your travel plans, your schoolwork, legal matters, or any promotional work you do. Your damn Instagram pics might not upload, or maybe you lose a bunch of followers out of nowhere. You also might get a lot more bombastic with your opinions, which could get you into some trouble. Just give yourself a mental margarita before you climb up into that pulpit again. If you're in school, then you could be getting into some flare-ups with your teachers, or or you might be a little too distracted to work. Ugh. And Venus starts the month in your ninth house of exploration and worldview as well. So you could get a crush on someone who comes from a very different background than you. It's a great time for a holiday romance as well. And if you're hitched, then you and your boo could end up doing something adventurous or even travel together, which would be really fun. Then Venus jumps into your 10th house on the 17th, where she's going to bring some harmony to your workplace. This is a great time for making a good impression at work, gaining the favor of your boss, or getting along well with your coworkers, clients, and customers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on anything. Bye!